excited to do this interview with you today. That's what's up. And thank you for having me also. So the first question I want to come with is, how did you get the name Big Pokey? Since a baby. Since a baby? My mom and dad. Oh, okay, okay. That's interesting. I've, I've been Pokey all my life. Okay. So we know you're from Houston. What side of Houston are you from? Like the Yellowstone area, south side of Houston. Okay. Yeah. Southeast side. How was that like growing up like that? Like any other hood, any other section, you know. Um, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a more rough area or whatnot. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's, you know, big city, uh, a lot of neighborhoods out here or whatnot. So, you know, it's just, you know, southeast side, man, just another hood, man. Okay. So I know you did a lot of things with DJ Screw and Pow Wow and Lil Kiki. So I have a song that's my favorite actually from you and Paul Wall that's called Sin Sideways. Oh. How did y'all come up with that concept by the way? Well, Wow, Wow had uh, sample uh, 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 some of my lyrics on uh, June 27th. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, the, but they, whoever made the beat, then they, you know, sampled me off the thing. And then they made, you know, the hook or whatever, and they wild it and put me on the song with it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in 2004, I read about you did a song called Who They Talking Now? And it was in an episode on HBO with Entourage. How well, was that for you? How was that feeling? Well, actually, Who They Talking Now? This song was done in 99. Okay. That's when I dropped Hardest Pit. That was on my album. That was my first. Uh, solo project, which I released in 99, and that song was on there. <clears throat> now, the entrepreneur thing, it was crazy because I never knew anything about it. I just, people just kept saying, man, I heard your song on entrepreneur, I heard it. So I finally, one day, I want to say, damn, I probably about, about a year ago, just, you know, heard it or whatever, whatever. So it was, you know, it was cool. It was a great feeling. Yeah, it was cool. Okay, look at you doing big things for the city. Yeah, it was cool. I like it. Um, do you have any new projects coming out? Any new movies you're going to be in by any chance? Yeah, I'm actually working on another solo project. It's called American Bully. I was going to drop it on my birthday. My birthday is um, at the end of November. But I think I'm going to push it back towards mid-December or maybe just do... Uh, beginning of the year release. Okay, that'll be nice. I can't wait to see it. I'm be the first one, you know, be out there to support you. Oh, really? <laughs> so, I have one last question for you. It's kind of a big question. I hope you're comfortable by answering it. So, what's your input on this work thing that's going on right now in Scott Street? Man, uh, well, you know, like I say, man, that it's, it's, it's it, it war is going on everywhere out here in this world. But it's crazy when it's on your doorstep. And it's, it's you know, basically, man, my thing is to these youngsters, man, you know, you know, they glorifying the pistol, man. And uh, it's just a crazy day and time, you know. Uh, it's crazy because, you know, some of them, they are all the way out there where you can't do no pray for them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and <clears throat> I, I need to talk from knowledge and from what he, you know, what he know, what he's seen and been through and so forth like that. Uh, you know, but they, they just kidding each other off at a, at, a, at, a, at a young age, man. And, you know, that shit ain't cool, man. Uh, Seem like if you're a black male from 11th grade to about 25, they high risk. They might not, they might not make it past that age, and they might not make it past that era because there's so much going on, man. Uh, you know. <clears throat> just tearing the streets up, tearing the neighborhood up, man, and, and you know, shit, if it's, you know, shit, if it's that, man, you know, shit, if it's that, if it's just a place or something, get out there and fight, man, live another day, man, and 
do it again or whatever, man. But just taking motherfuckers' life, man, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Random motherfuckers, uh, motherfuckers just having to be out at this. It's, it's just a lot come with it. If it's that serious, they can just get your man, you know. But even that, this shit just go back and forth. See, you, you die on somebody else, people, see, they will come back and die on some young people. That shit just don't never stop. So, you know, my thing for this man, shit, they need to, you know, they need to find something to do, man. Put the pistol down, pick up the tray, man, get your life on the tray. See, y'all don't, don't think about the shit that y'all doing right now, and then y'all fuck around and then through this shit, and y'all don't buy a kid in the world. Shit, you got the, the, you got the kid, you got the kid, mama, you got all this shit going on, and now you want to try to figure out that I need to do something to get myself together. Well, you can already fucked your life out of way up. So your chances of pretty much doing something is pretty much done and then so you're pretty much going to be stuck with what you're stuck with versus getting your shit together at an early age. <clears throat> Get on top of this shit while you're young. Hey, you something going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, stop bringing your motherfucking kids to the world and not take care of your kids. Not being in a position to take care of your kids. Uh, you know, uh, getting locked up, motherfucker getting shot, motherfucker never get a chance to know their motherfucking parent, man. It's, it's really serious out here because if we not here to raise our kids shit, it's just gonna end up being another lost generation. I understand. So I appreciate the interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And if you have anything that you want to say to the generation now of the new rap game versus, versus, versus the old rap game, what would it be? Shit, man. Shit, man. Just do what you do. Do some shit that you really want to do, man. Do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Uh, you got a match for this shit every day. It's a lot to come with it, but if you want it, it's there for you to have it, you know. Well, thank you. I appreciate your time. And I love the work that you made on me. Oh, really? You agree? <laughs> thank you.